news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Monica Rick. A divided Supreme Court has allowed a controversial immigration law to take effect now in Texas. Your CBS is Allison Key. The three liberal Supreme Court justices dissented the ruling, allowing the Texas law giving state law enforcement the power to arrest people suspected of crossing into the U.S. illegally. Loyola Law Professor Lori Levinson says, This is a surprise because it's a major question before the Supreme Court. A lower court is still hearing arguments, but a ruling is expected soon. Meantime, critics are concerned the law could hamper federal efforts and lead to more racial profiling. One of six former Mississippi law enforcement officers convicted of torturing two black men last year has been sentenced to 20 years in prison. The other five are still awaiting their fate. Attorney Trent Walker represents the victim. If you don't protect and serve, then everybody deserves the same protection and the same service. The family of missing University of Missouri student Riley Strain says they've called in the United Cajun Navy to assist in search efforts in Nashville. Chris Whited is his stepfather. Our goal is still to bring Riley home. We're still that is still a very pliable goal. Riley's been missing for nearly two weeks now. A new study in the journal JAMA Pediatrics shows more than two-thirds of children under the age of six in Chicago may be exposed to lead-contaminated water. It also found neighborhoods with predominantly black or Hispanic populations were less likely to be tested for lead. The UN Human Rights Chief had some tough words for Israel today over his war with Hamas. Volker Turk's comments come after a UN report said famine is likely in Gaza by May. The extent of Israel's continued restrictions on the entry of aid into Gaza together with the manner in which it continues to conduct hostilities may amount to the use of starvation as a method of war, which is a war crime. The clock is ticking. Aid agencies blame Israel for blockading Gaza. That's CBS's Cammie McCormick. A scary warning today from the United Nations on our climate. CBS's Vicki Barker. The EU saw 2023 was hot. The UN's Weather and Climate Agency says this year is on track to be the hottest ever. The latest state of the global climate report shows the planet on the brink. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Fossil fuel pollution is sending climate chaos off the charts. CD government action might still prevent climate meltdown, he says, but only seven countries in the world currently meet the UN's air quality standards. Spoiler alert, the US is not one of them. On that note, happy first day of spring. Enjoy the weather, do a little spring cleaning. I to say it's actually good for your health. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 65 degrees in Vallejo, California.